Hi everybody, Brad Walker here. Uh, in this instant stretch tutorial, we're gonna go through the option of adding your own photos and uh, being able to customize the photo database. Um, so there's 135 stretches already in the software, uh, but you do have the option of adding your own photographs and your own stretches. So to do that, we're just gonna go to the add your own photo option. Um, and before we actually do add a photo, what I'm going to do is just give you a look at the uh, database of stretches that are uh, that come with the software. Um, so as I said, there's 135 stretches that um, are available uh, for you to choose from, and um, each one of those stretches comes with a um, a default uh, title and a default description. So you can't actually change those and that's uh, been done on purpose for um, just for legal reasons. Uh, but what you can do is you can add your own comments to these photographs. Um, so uh, say with this photo here or this stretch here you wanted to remind your clients um, to uh, keep your head up. When you hit update photo you'll see that that comment has been added to the end of the default description. Um, if you want to remove that, all you need to do is just leave that comment area blank and hit update photo and it'll remove it. Um, what I like to do, if I do add any additional comments to photos, I usually just put a little asterisk there and then keep your head up and then that way I know that that's something that I've uh, added myself. Um, and this additional comment will come up on the printout whenever this stretch is used as part of a routine. So I'll just go ahead and remove that. So as you can see, that's been removed. So that's, that's just a, a very simple way to add your own instructions um, to the photographs. If you feel that any of the instructions or any of the photos need that additional uh, instructions. So the other option you have is to add your own photo to the database of stretches. And to do that, it's very, very simple. You, you just click on the choose file option. You get a dialog box will come up. You find your stretch that you wanna choose hit open and then upload photo. Now there's a bit of information to fill out here. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna give the uh, stretch a name. So let's say we'll just call this lunging hip stretch. You need to give it a, a, um, a description or instructions on how to perform the stretch. So I'm not gonna go through all that, but just put some um, description on how to perform the stretch uh, and then you need to go through and choose um, a couple of these options here so this is a fairly basic stretch so you just call it basic uh, primary muscle group would be hips and secondary muscle group might be uh, quadriceps um, and then here we can select anatomical muscle groups so um, something like, uh, for the quads, um, something like, um, or hip, uh, the hip flexors. So we'd be looking at um, something like iliacus or iliosaeus. So where are we? Iliacus. And you can add more, iliacus and then saeus. Let's find that. Saeus major. And there we go. And then lastly, you can choose what um, sports it's uh, suitable for. So again, you can choose as many sports as you want. And once you've selected all the information for the stretch and uh, given it a name and a description, just go ahead and click on add photo. And then down below here, it'll appear and you'll have all your stretches will appear below the default stretches. If you wanna change anything, you just click on it, go through, make your changes hit uh, update photo or delete it if you want to do that. Um, so there you go, that's how to add photos to the routine and add sort of custom descriptions and instructions to all the photos. Um, once those have been added, then they'll be available in the create a routine option um, and they'll appear on, um, on the routines that you uh, create with those particular stretches. 
Okay, so that's it for the uh, photo uh, database. Uh, thanks again for watching the tutorial. Um, looking forward to talking with you again. Bye for now.